grab your Timmy's cup and cheers with me because this is a toast to Canada. So, I'm not a Canadian citizen yet. I am a permanent resident and that's thanks to my mom. So, mom, if you're using this, I mean, if you're watching this, thank you very much. And I love you. I got here two years ago and of course there were changes that I had to get used to. Like, for example, speaking in English. Of course, I had to find friends, learning what a Duni is, Duni and a Tuni is. And the major thing that I really had to get used to was the weather, especially during winter and how cold it gets when, yeah, how cold it gets generally. I remember, I remember my first snowfall though. It was really fun. My teacher just knew that it was my first snowfall and she took me outside, took a few pictures and just watched me play for, um, under the snow for a bit. And yeah got inside and yeah that's one of the most memorable things that i will never forget and one thing despite having very cold weather here there i get greeted with warm good mornings hellos and how are you here which was weird when at for me it was weird at first not gonna lie but um i got used to it but back in back in the Philippines, it was it was weird when you said you said hi to a stranger you didn't know. So yeah. Also, I liked how it's easy to get preschool, elementary, and high school education here, because where back where I came from, um, you have to pay to get an education, which is really sad that because. You know that's why some kids don't get to have the chance to get educated with stuff like that which is really sad so that's one of the things that i really like here in canada second was the healthcare, and i think that speaks for itself i hope and how we all handled quarantine how we're handling handling the rules and regulations and stuff like that and how we're reading about articles that's what's that's what's happening around the world and how we try to educate and stuff like that and especially for my generation how we stand up for what's right and stuff so yeah i guess i'm ending the video now so this is a cheers again once to canada to mac the moves and canada <laughs> So yeah, stay alert, stay safe, sign petitions, and be educated. Bye! This year has definitely been a memorable one. With the unprecedented closure of our school and the shift to distance learning, no one could have possibly foreseen exactly what our grade 12 year had become. We all knew some sacrifices to extracurricular activities had to happen to support our teachers in their attempt to negotiate a fair contract. But then COVID-19 changed the world. I, for one, can speak firsthand on how disappointed I was that my last attempt to compete at the first robotics tournament would be taken away. After countless hours of planning, building, and programming, we'd received word that it was all over. I was so disappointed. Many of my friends and classmates have also felt the same. Band and choir concerts, drama performances, Lenten fast, and coffee house were all cancelled. Track and field, basketball, and hockey events were also cancelled, to name a few. Many grade 12s have worked hard throughout their high school careers to achieve the levels they reached, and just like that, it was over. It's also quite unfortunate that graduation is not happening as we thought. We never got to say a proper goodbye or congratulate our friends as other graduating classes have had. Many of us have also gone and purchased our formal clothes for a big night. It's sad that even though there will be some uses for these suits and gowns, our big night was taken from us. We won't have the grand march and graduating class picture. What we have gained is experience. We gained resilience. We saw how people came together during this pandemic to help one another. Teachers made the 
extra effort to reach out to their students to make sure their education needs to move on with their life was complete. To this, we say thank you. I, to my friends and peers, I say congratulations, we made it. First of all, congrats to the graduates of the 2020 year, a year full of surprises to say the least. Questions filling our heads, fear running through us with are we gonna get a normal grad? You know who is there to, claim, to calm our nerves and rub our backs? Our parents. They were just as nervous for us because they knew that this was our day and we could never have predicted this. But I guess life is full of things we could never predict. Not too long ago, our parents were getting us ready for kindergarten grad, pigtails and all. Thinking, where has the time gone? Can it just slow down? And what's the next step? Now we are here at our grade 12 grad and our parents are thinking of the same thing, but this time our next step is adulthood. Moving out, being on our own with no rules. I wish we could all be together celebrating, but since we can't, this pre-recorded video is the next best thing. Like my assignments, I left this till the last minute, sorry dad, <laughs> but not because I didn't want to, want to do it, but because I wanted to say what I wanted to say to come across very meaningful and to celebrate the people who celebrate us the most. To our parents who never gave up when we had our teenage fits, the yelling and taking away phones, the early curfews with which we didn't agree with. To our parents who cried with us and held our hair back from one too many drinks. To our parents who saw limitless potential in us when we never believed in ourselves. To the parents who stepped in as parents when it was needed, you never go unnoticed. To the siblings and grandparents who took on the parent role. Because we're, what really makes a good parent? Not the blood that runs through your veins, but who you who never ends up, who never gives up, gives up, who kept encouraging and showed us what love really is and means. This is to you. Thank you. Hey there, Barony staff and students. So if you don't know who I am, my name is Lana Johnson, and I am a part of the graduating class of 2020. So I was asked by Miss Douglas if I wanted to give a speech to the staff. And of course I said yes. I am so excited to be a part of our graduation ceremony and to get to talk to all of you guys again. Now, I know this year did not go like any of us had planned, but I am just so grateful we at least got to have an amazing first semester and we got to do our Valhalla ceremonies and we got to have our other extracurricular activities take place. Uh, we want to thank the teachers for being so understanding with us through these difficult times and for always letting us know that they are available to talk to us and for always asking if we need help and just being honest to make sure that we have our schoolwork done. So on behalf of the graduating class of 2020, we wanted to thank all the teachers for always helping us to succeed and pushing us to be the best versions of ourselves that we can possibly be. We would also like to thank the teachers for dealing with our procrastination, which leads to some very strange things. A special shout out goes to Miss Cripps for dealing with our English B30 class, where we would do such shenanigans as being a human pyramid or doing human bowling, where I got to be the bowling ball. 10 out of 10, recommend it if you ever find yourself in a situation where you can do it. Uh, we are very sad that, and heartbroken that we will not get to see you guys next year and get to talk to you about what's going on in our lives and just what's going on in the world. We wanted to thank you guys for just always being there for us and for shaping us into the young adults that we are today. We truly appreciate each and every one of you guys and that you have always taken the time to just make sure everything is okay with us and for just being so awesome to all of us. Really, thank you. As we go on, we will always remember what you've done for us and we will be so grateful we got to hang out with you guys and talk to you for the past four years. You truly feel like a part of our family and we are all a great big family at Banyer. Uh, we're gonna miss you guys so much. And again, we just wanna thank you for everything you've done for us these past four years. You have been truly amazing to all of us and we are just so grateful we got to have you guys. Bye guys, go class of 2020. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2020. You guys have done an amazing job over not just the four years, but the 12 years of education that you've had. And I truly wish you all the best in the future. Uh, just a little bit of advice to keep um, in your thoughts is that you need to not just embrace the big moments, but the little moments. It's usually the little moments that all compile into making who you are and forming uh, where you want to go and giving you the 
these experiences that will be, lay the foundation for the future. So again, embrace those little moments, good and bad. They, they lead you to where you need to go with God's help. Hello and congratulations to Vanny's graduating class of 2020. <clears throat> where did the time go? I'm sure some of you are asking the exact same question now that you've graduated high school. As you move forward and continue on your journey, aim high, but be aware that even before you reach your goals, if you always strive for excellence, you can and will have an impact on the world in which you live. Enjoy your journey and God bless each and every one of you. Hi guys, I can't believe we've reached your graduation already. Four years have passed so quickly. It seems like just yesterday you guys were walking in those front doors of Vanya and you were quiet and shy and nervous and giggly. And now you leave us as capable and confident adults who are ready to take on the world and everything it has to throw at you. I feel that you've created a lifetime of memories in a blink of an eye. I know that this graduation isn't what you anticipated or hoped for, but that in itself makes it special. Someday you will look back and think, wow, I graduated in the weirdest time ever. But remember, people will always look at the graduates of 2020 and know that they are a strong, adaptable and resilient people. As you move on to your future plans, I hope that you know that we are cheering you on every step of the way and that we're oh so proud of each and every one of you. You are now a Vanier alumni and I hope that you wear that proudly. I know that you've taken away great memories of your time here. Please don't be strangers, come back and see us. Congratulations, graduates, and best wishes in all your future endeavors. God bless. Just wanna thank the grade 12s for a amazing four years. Um, I've lost a little bit of hair and uh, have a few more gray ones because of you, but uh, I wouldn't take anything back for the world. Thanks. Hi, grade 12s, it's Mrs. Kammer. Congratulations on your grade 12 graduation. It has been an absolute pleasure teaching each of you. I have taught some of you from elementary on to grade 12. I'm gonna miss all of you. Don't be strangers, stop by Vanier, come say hi, take care and have a great summer. Congratulations, Vanier grads. As you start the next stage of your journey, I'd like to share three pieces of advice. Be kind, work hard and follow your heart. Congratulations. Hi graduates. I'm so excited for each of you as you embark on this next chapter in your story. I know our time in person was cut short, but I hope that the lessons learned through this experience about resiliency, valuing community, and maybe learning to just slow down a little bit will help you in the years to come. I know each of you has so many hopes and dreams for your future, but I challenge you to sit back a little bit and just greet whatever comes your way with an open heart and mind. Allow your challenges to help you grow, learn from your mistakes, and always be true to yourself. Enjoy, best of luck, and congratulations. What's up, e grade 12s? What's up? Hey, listen, you guys are about to graduate, and I just want to tell you that I'm very proud of you. Congratulations. And I actually think you guys are like the spice of life. Um, everything you're going to do in life is very sweet. Remember, you can get more flies with honey than you can with vinegar. And I actually think you guys are all a tad bit nutty. <gasps> Don't tell camera that I have her peanut butter at home. And for you guys, I just want to say congratulations on your future. And as your lunch lady from Vanier, I just want to toast you. Congratulations, class of 2020. You made it. Now it's time to go out into the world and become adults and do what you want to do. Find a job that you love. And if you're willing to work hard at it, you can achieve anything you want to achieve. Take care of your responsibilities and enjoy it all. I wish you all the best. Hey, Great Twelves. We had the best fun this year and you guys really hold a special place in my heart. I'm going to miss you. Make sure that whatever you do in life, follow and listen to your heart. Hey, Vanier grads. I'm having trouble keeping this under 30 seconds. You know me. So I just want to say how proud I am of all of you for the resiliency you've shown this year. You've learned how to grow, how to adapt, how to change, and how to make the most out of a bad situation. And that's one of the greatest skills that you can have going forward into your future. 
So congratulations on your graduation. Congratulations, cl class of 2020. And uh, cheers. Have a great summer. Peace. Felicitations, douzième année. Congratulations, grads. You made it. Be proud of your accomplishments and go out there and make a difference in the world. We really need you. To the 2020 Vanier graduates, I want to congratulate you on, on accomplishing one of life's great milestones. And in life, don't forget, the person you want to be better than is the person you were yesterday. So don't forget, as you move forward in life, go with God, keep it real. Not everything that can be counted counts, and not everything that counts can be counted. May God bless you this summer. Ladies and gentlemen, you've heard it said that failure is not an option. Well, I beg to disagree. It is the only option, the only option and way that you can truly tap into your inner greatness is by failing, by falling sometimes. Just make sure you fall forward. Failure should be a stepping stone, not the end point. So keep failing, keep learning. Congratulations, God bless graduates. Hi grade 12s, congratulations on your graduation. I just wanted to say how proud I am of each and every one of you for all that you've accomplished over these last four years. You are off to start new adventures and I know that you're all gonna go on to do great things. So just remember, you don't have to have it all figured out just yet. But thank you for being such outstanding role models. Thank you for showing the Vanier community how proud you are of your school. So as you go on, show up for those opportunities in life, be brave in everything that you do and know that we are all so very proud of you. Congratulations, we're gonna miss you. Good afternoon. It has been 582 days since the Cat Pee Massacre. I'm not saying that that event started a series of chain events around the world that caused mayhem. We'll let science do that. Hello, graduates. I'm so proud of you. You're an amazing group of humans. After compiling all the videos for this virtual graduation, it's obvious and clear that you have made your mark on so many people. You've definitely left your mark on me. But maybe not as permanent as the mark we left on the boys' change room floor when we dyed it pink from tie-dye. Sorry, Mr. Broda. You're an amazing group that has always gotten involved, and I have been so grateful to count on you to do any random crazy plan that I put forth. Whether that was <laughs> making pirate jokes all day, or being trained as an Olympic figure skater, even for a different country, go Russia. Making giant heads for pretty much every person in any reason. Uh, singing Total Eclipse of the Heart while wearing a jammy pack, belting it out after cleaning up after a dance. Um, a classic balloon arch. Uh, or a remembrance ceremony for the day two of your fellow graduates ate gum soaked in cat pee. You did it all. And did you ever love a potluck? I can't even count how many we have had, and we have had the best of all the potlucks. With the classic mashed potatoes, lasagna, maybe throw in a letterbox cake, or you know, cabbage. Your giving nature and the way you accept and welcome others is part of what makes your class unique. Hey, isn't that Ellen? Anyways, your abilities outside of the classroom is nothing compared to what you've accomplished inside the classroom. You are bright, talented, intelligent individuals. You have so many skills. You are skilled at card games, speed, nerds, spoons, even though you know that I'm better at all of those games. And you can't even argue with this because it's pre-recorded. You've mastered the quadratic formula and you've spent hours preparing and studying in my classroom for finals, even sometimes till eight o'clock at night. 
and then spending the whole next day writing finals. Even till sometimes till eight o'clock at night. Nah, I'm just kidding. But seriously, some of you have spent way too much time in my classroom. There was never a moment of class time that was wasted. Never. Even when dinosaur costumes were appropriate attire, or you know, when I dyed Nathan's hair orange for no reason. Though our time together was cut short, honestly, three and a half years was enough. We got a lot done in that time and I don't know how much more I can take. I'm forever gonna cringe, if, in a good way, I swear, when I hear someone yelling, Miss D, and I will forever be appreciative of you helping me become TikTok famous. Even though I told you all that I could probably become TikTok famous in a day, and I did. I hope that every time you hear Lil John's Get Low, you belt out all over 2A. I'm so proud of all of you. You're doing amazing, sweetie. Don't forget that I love you and tomorrow's going to be better. Go forth, the math has ended. And for the last time, are you ready to let the dogs out? Congrats, Glad, Grad of 2020. Yeah, so I was gonna get a full ride to Yale, but I turned it down because I thought it'd be too easy. Oh, hey guys, I didn't see you there. Um, that's kind of awkward. I was just talking to my little brother. We are just taking the pooch for a walk, skis. So yeah, uh, you know, I've been, uh, think about this a lot oh sorry we gotta move over here one second so uh yeah as i was saying we're working on the speech for about two weeks now um and i decided to get rid of it so i'm actually coming up with this off the top of my head because i hated my other speech to be honest not very good writing speeches i'm more of a more of a free thinker kind of guy so that's what we're gonna do here so you know first of all i just want to say like it's pretty awesome right like i'm recording my grad speech while walking the dog on a 28 degree day no wind it's just like not many people could say they get to do this so it's pretty awesome and like what are the odds i was actually wearing my necktie while i took the dog for a walk like that's pretty crazy right like wild stuff so you know i'm pretty pumped about that this is pretty awesome it does suck that we don't get an actual grad and stuff don't get to see you guys but um this is pretty cool and i get to hang out with my little brother I'm not sure he's liking it too much. He doesn't really like me, but whatever. It's not a big deal. Uh, so anyways, first of all, I just want to say like, you know, like, what a run it's been really. So much awesome stuff has happened to us. And well, I guess that's been four years. It's been three and a half years, but you know, like sports winning pretty much every provincial title known to man, pretty sick. And then, you know, like everyone, everyone was involved in something that was successful. You know, like there's drama, there's band, there's the sports kids, like, Everything at our school was awesome because like everyone was involved and when you have that many people involved you know it's, it's bound to be pretty sick so like our class we're gonna be remembered for a long time for a lot of the stuff we did which is pretty cool and we're also gonna be remembered for being the the corona class which kind of sucks but whatever it's not a big deal but uh yeah so I just want to say thank you to all you guys for helping me make memories that last a lifetime sure Coley has a lot of memories about you guys too, right, Coley? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Coley loves all you guys too. Oh, and the, the dog is pooping. One second. This is awkward. Good grief, Callie. You're three pounds. Stop. <laughs> Good night. Uh, that was nasty. Uh, Coley, clean that up. I'm just going to keep walking here. So, yeah, like, you know, I didn't really like school from kindergarten until grade eight you know I just wasn't really my thing didn't really try very much because I didn't like it and grade nine made a lot of friends you guys are all pretty sick people and really helped me start to enjoy school started to get involved started to get good marks and it was just really fun every day coming to school and I really want to thank you guys for that I'm gonna miss all of you next year and the coming years after that 
it's gonna suck without you guys, but I know we're all gonna do pretty sweet things out in the world. So it's gonna be awesome. You guys all ever like pick leaves off trees just, just for fun? It's kind of something I do when I'm walking the dog. Well, I just kind of like doing it. Let's go, Coley, pick it up. Coley's dragging behind me, he's kind of slow. I'm kind of a unit, so it's hard to keep up with me with physical activity, but whatever. Anyways, you know, like the students, they made my, like my classmates made my time at Vanier pretty awesome, but the best, oh, holy crap, that was a voice crack and a half. That's embarrassing. Wish I could cut that out. That's tough, but I'm only doing this, this is first take, so this is as good as it's gonna get for me. But um, anyways, wanna thank in this last minute and three seconds that I have of this video, I wanna thank the teachers too. Like the best part about Vanya is that the teachers, like at other schools, teachers is kind of awkward sometimes cause you know, you don't really have like a great relationship with them. With the teachers at Vanya, it's like, it's just like having really old friends. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You know, like, hold on. That was awkward, though, because people were biking. But yeah, it's like having <laughs> old friends. No offense, guys. You're just old to me because I'm young. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I truly appreciate all the relationships I developed with teachers. You know, Mr. Broda, Miss Cripps, Miss Douglas. All you guys, I was in your classes. Well, I guess Mr. Broad, I wasn't in his classes, but he coached me every year. Anyway, but Miss Cripps and Miss Douglas, like, you guys really allowed me to just be myself, which I'm sure you regretted at points. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was just a lot of fun coming to class every day and hanging out with you guys, hanging out with all my friends. And I just want to thank everyone from, except for Carl. Hate Carl, I hate you. But yeah, it was, it was a really good run. And hopefully I get to see you guys sometime this summer once these restrictions are lifted. And pretty sure people are looking at me weird for walking around in a necktie and sunglasses in in the middle of the city. So I'm gonna I'm gonna end this here because I'm tired of getting judged by strangers. So yeah, thanks everyone. Hope you have a great summer. Hope you enjoy virtual grad. And yeah, peace. the country's all-time leading scorer in the women's game. Now Haley Wickenheiser. Four Olympic golds and Maybe seven world championships, Haley Wickenheiser has been a fixture in Canadian hockey. Yesterday, she announced she'd be hanging up her skates after 23 years with the national team.
It's a funny, funny feeling. You kind of, uh, in some ways, you feel like you're planning your own funeral, but in the other ways, you feel like you're graduating onto a whole other life when you've spent, I guess, 33 years I've spent playing the game and uh, in the game. So um, it's been the greatest honor of my life to play for Canada. You feel that pride and that responsibility to do your best for your country. Dear hockey, you have been my heart and my soul, my blood and my tears. You are my true first love. I put myself through whatever it took to be with you. I changed in boiler rooms and bathroom stalls for you. I moved across the world. I pushed my body through hell and back so you would never tire of me. I studied the best you had and practiced your every move. All this time, I thought I was giving you something. But in return, you gave me the greatest gift anyone could ask for, true freedom. You gave me both joy and pain, but I wouldn't have it any other way. Through four gold medals and 13 world championships, it was never about the wins, it was about the people. You taught me that. All those lonely years I spent as the only girl with the boys and men were hard, but when I stepped out on the ice and got to be with you, that's where I belonged. Dear Hockey, <laughs> we did a lot together. You gave me everything I have in my life, including a beautiful son who teaches me every day that there's more to life than just you. And although our relationship is different now, I'll spend the rest of my life giving what I can back to you. I can only hope that those who follow will get to experience the love for you like I did. Dear Hockey, thank you. Hey everybody over at Vanier Collegiate and Moose Jaw, Haley Wickenheiser here, and I just wanna give you guys, all you grads, a shout out. I know this is uh, not the grade 12 grad you probably thought you would be having virtually, not able to hang and uh, do all the things that you imagined with your classmates. Um, I never thought I'd be in a pandemic in my last year of medical school either, so I guess life uh, happens, and sometimes it's not uh, what happens to us in life, it's how we choose to react and handle it that really makes us or breaks us moving forward. Now, I know you guys are a very close-knit class because that's what your teachers tell me. I also know that you're a very talented one. There's musicians and artists and athletes, and biz whizzes, and people that are gonna change the world um, because of course, all of great things come from Saskatchewan. And I'm very proud to have grown up in Shaunavon, Saskatchewan, not very far from all of you be raised um, on the prairies where we have to be tough because yes, it is cold in the winter. Uh, we have to be strong and most importantly, we stick together and we take care of each other. And uh, I hope that when you look back on this experience, you will look at it fondly as a, a, a bit of a, a blip on the radar, something that's different in life and that you'll find uh, ways to make uh, lemonade out of lemons a little bit. Uh, but more importantly, I hope that you'll look back on your entire years of school um, with great memories, great friends moving forward, and of course, a lot of hope and excitement for the future. Now, you guys are the ones who are going to uh, literally change the world and make things happen. And so out of this COVID situation, I want to challenge you all uh, in your grad and moving forward uh, to find ways that you can try to innovate yourself and be creative and come up with maybe trying things that you've never tried before or doing things that you've never done before in ways that maybe we can also make this country and world a better place. Um, I really like the saying, it's one thing to be the best in the world, and it's another thing to be the best for the world. And I know you guys are the best for the world because you're young, you're full of energy and promise, and you have great ideas. I also know that your families and your teachers and your school are really, really proud of you and really sad that you can't all be together and clap and 
enjoy walking across the stage and doing all of those cool things. But I also know that we are going to get through this very dark tunnel at some point and we're going to come out of it for the better moving forward. So congratulations to you guys all. Take care of each other moving forward. Have some fun. Enjoy your grad. You deserve it. You work very hard and keep calm and COVID on. See you later, guys. Hello, me again, Brad Moser, Principal of Vanier Collegiate. And in an atypical year, um, I guess I get to give a atypical principal's address to the Vanier class of 2020. And I can't help but think about the special attention that this class has been getting since the very beginning of when they entered into the doors of Vanier Collegiate. Um, four years ago, the Ministry of Education talked about how special the group of students in our province, the class of 2020, would be uh, for our province. And the rationale for that was that we were working on increasing graduation rates for our province. So I do remember when we started to really focus on the class of 2020. Um, what do we need to do? What are the special things that we need to do? What are the different things that we need to do? How do we change education? How do we make sure that we're increasing our graduation rates? And I remember, and most of our grade 12s will probably remember, when they first walked into our gym that opening day of grade nine. It was intimidating. I know it is. It is for every group of grade nines that walk into this building. But we also were able to acknowledge of how special a group this really was. And we really needed to focus on them because we needed, we wanted to make sure that they were getting all the supports they need. And they were the class that we're really focusing on to increase those grad rates. And I remember being in the gym right here when we started to talk about the class of 2020. And obviously a new decade, new group of students, really exciting, but this special focus from our province, our school division and our school on this group of students. So we did it, hey? We got to 100% graduation rates this year, uh, fabulous. Now we all know that there's some special circumstances in there. But I will say in March, we were very confident in every one of you. Uh, we knew you were on track. We knew you'd be successful. Uh, we knew that you could do it. So I just wanted to bring you back here to this location and to really bring you back to that first day of grade nine and, and the Valhalla events and all that fun stuff. But from the very beginning, you have been a special group on our mind. With everything shutting down so quick in March, we never had a chance to establish a grad committee or a grad theme. But I really believe over the last three and a half months, you've been living a theme. And it's centered around adaptability and perseverance. In talking to a business friend of mine here in the community, he said one of the things that will certainly be an interview question in the future for your generation is, what did you do during the summer of COVID-19? You need to figure out over these next couple months how to separate yourself from the rest. It's been tough. This has been a tough time on everybody, but there will be a definite difference between those who did and those who didn't. So really challenge you to get out there, market yourself, work hard, make yourself proud, make your family proud, make us proud. Anyone know where the doors are for the washrooms? I'm gonna have to ask somebody about that. Vanny Collegiate really is a unique school community. We have a number of staff members who are also alumni of the school. Myself, 
I am a proud member of the class of 1990. And I know that the alumni group of our Vanier family reaches far and wide. And I'd like to welcome the class of 2020 to that alumni group and know that you have generations of alumni that will cheer you on and that you will forever be connected to. So go out there and make us proud. Huh, we're missing doors. What's going on around here? One last glimpse for you of Cyan Hall. So proud yesterday to get the opportunity to see all of you walk across that stage. We all know it was so, so different from what we're used to, but I have so much faith in each and every one of you that you will be able to persevere and adapt to what's in front of you. I wish you all the best of luck. We are very proud of you and come back and visit us at any time. Look forward to seeing you. Take care. Ready when you are. to all parents, special guests, and fellow graduates. Hopefully this speech doesn't resemble 2020. It starts out okay, has some potential, starts feeling miserably, and midway through you're wishing it was over. You may need to lower your expectations. Speaking of low expectations, hi, my name is Ariana Golden. And my name is Akina Miniso, and we, we can't, can't believe we're here. here. <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> let's get down to business. Um, what? Okay, um, as I was saying, this year has been interesting to say the least. We have gone through blockades, strikes, protests, and a pandemic all by the middle of March. It's hard to believe we're only halfway through 2020. Despite all of this, Vanier has stayed strong and has continued to support its students through difficult times. To us, Vanier has been a community, but most importantly a family that we've learned to rely on. When I first came to Vanier, I had no idea what I was signing up for. Coming from a very small school, I didn't know anyone from the Holy Trinity community that pe most people from our school grew up in. I knew three people going, me, myself, and I. I was going into the unknown and I kept playing worst case scenarios in my head. I went in with a negative mindset. I was happily surprised when I was welcomed with open arms. As I got involved in school activities and made friends, I realized that it's okay to let my guard down. I learned to open up and become more confident in myself. Although our time was cut short, I'm grateful that I've gotten to know our classmates and build unlikely friendships. In my personal experience, I've always been very familiar with Vanier and its community. My dad used to work for Holy Trinity in IT. Often when I was little, he would go into work on a weekend to fix a computer, and he would bring me with him. Sometimes that meant going into Vanier. In my mind, Vanier was always the school for me. I was very familiar with the building and the community at a young age. I know that for the rest of the grad class, the decision process may have been different, but one way or another, we all ended up here. Most of us started our journey in Vanier in grade nine, and others gradually made their way here. High school was where we went from naive little grade nines to the graduates who are well on their way to becoming young adults. No matter how our stories at Vanier went, we all will leave with a sense of unity and camaraderie. The graduating class of 2020 is strong, resilient, and adaptable. Since we have experienced so much in our lifetime, we truly believe that we are equipped to deal with whatever the future may hold. We're gonna be honest, the months and years ahead may not be what you were expecting. We'll be navigating through changes that very few have ever gone before. As of right now, everything is different from what we've ever known, but different and change are not necessarily negative. Our response to change can be whatever we want it to be. We can better ourselves and the world around us through change. This is a time to rethink how things are done and to reevaluate how what is important to us. Being comfortable isn't good enough and it's okay to strive for more. 
The world is developing quickly, and it's people like us, our graduating class, that will develop and change alongside it. Not only can we make a difference, but we can evolve. Evolving is different for everyone. It's a personalized experience. For some, it's about achieving your childhood dreams, like going to the moon or helping those in need. For others, it's about improving oneself to become more introspective. <laughs> it's important to remember that to consider your own happiness, to look out for those around you, and to understand that the current circumstances put 2020 grads in a unique position to be agents of positive change in the future and in the world. But, I mean, what, what do we know? <laughs> We're only two halves of one valedictorian. And one half of Vanny's visible minority community. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, to all the parents, guardians, and teachers listening, we want to thank you for investing your time into the development of this graduating class. Without all of you constantly going the extra mile and making personal sacrifices, opportunities like the school musical, sports, dances, Valhalla, provincial titles, or even having a commencement would not have been possible. To the students, we want to personally thank you for making Vanier into the school it is today. When your time was cut short, you were able to keep a positive outlook and made the best of an upsetting situation. We are a part of a special group of grads, and our unique experience is not only shared with each other, but with grads across the world. As Ms. Busta said, you guys are weird, so it makes sense that your graduation is weird. What exactly she meant by that, we're not sure. But you can take it as you will. One thing we are sure about is that despite all odds, we have finally, finally, graduated! graduated. Woo! <laughs> Let's play. Gracious and loving God, we ask you now for your mighty hand to be upon the graduate of 2020 and their family celebrating this grad milestone. Empower them to walk into the future with faith, hope, great love, regarded in your light. Bless each and every one, and bless our teachers who have been there for us in need. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen.